Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, what are the main benefits of using React instead of WordPress? So let's get into it. Well, this is a it's kind of funny comparison, I think, uh, because these things are like comparing apples to oranges. It's uh, like there's a world of difference between these two platforms or these two tools, if you will. So let's just kind of get the most obvious stuff uh, out of the way first and foremost. So well, like React is a library, a JavaScript library that is designed to give you the ability to write an SBA or a single page application, which is just a, another way of saying it's a web page that acts as a real, like a native application on the web and it's done in all JavaScript. Now, WordPress is a CMS system or a content management system. It's a platform for that sort of stuff, for this sort of thing, right? So you can think of it as a, pla it's a template that allows you to, well, you can customize things as well, but most users or most consumers of it are just people who download different themes or widgets or extensions of some sort that allows them to customize a web page of some sort. Now, the main differences here, or rather the main benefit to using React instead of WordPress is that React basically allows you to build whatever you want. It is designed to give you this feel of a native application, but it's not just limited to that. I mean, that's the, that's the reason why most of the professionals who, you, who do professional grade software development are using it. WordPress is a diff it's a different type of tool. It's a completely different idea, if you will. Like you, a React is a tool that allows you to build a web page, pretty much as the, at least a UI, pretty much from scratch. Whereas WordPress is an entire ecosystem, or like it's an entire platform for not necessarily building something from scratch and taking decisions that are completely custom, but rather having some type of good enough solution f that fits your use case. Uh, it's, uh, it's very similar to having an almost pre-made or a skeleton website the, where you can plug in the things that you actually want yourself. And for a lot of people, this is good enough. I mean, WordPress is one of the most popular choices for personal websites and small web shops and things of this nature but it is not considered to be professional grade software development. And the reason why is because unless you have a use case that quite perfectly fits into the ecosystem or like the widgets or the marketplace, if you will, that WordPress provides you with, it's not really extensible. Like it's not really something that you can just customize into whatever you could possibly want. So in React land, you basically go with React when you're, and it's not just React, of course, but you use that sort of tool to build a, build a website from scratch where you need to have absolute control over exactly what it is that you're going to build. You need to have the flexibility of building, pretty much be able to make any decision at any time, change it and make it into whatever you need whenever you want. So that's the best way I can describe it pretty much. So what I want you to take away from this is that <clears throat> comparing WordPress to React is like comparing Apple to apples to oranges. It's two completely different tools made for very different purposes. WordPress is a way for you to very quickly get a website up and running and you can extend it to a degree, but it's not completely customizable. It's not designed to be, it's designed to give people who need just a base structure. It has made a lot of assumptions. It's a platform that makes these assumptions in order to give you speed, like to give you the ability or to give you the ability to quickly set up a website. And the, that convenience comes with the limitation of that you can't just do whatever you want. Some stuff can change, of course. And React is a library that is designed to create SBA applications in, in an, and in essence create any type of application you want from scratch. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So it's not about, well, 
it, they, these are not at odds in any way. And the benefits of React is that you can do whatever you want, but the cost is of course also that now you need to know quite a lot more. I mean, uh, you can't just be a regular person and get a React application up and running. You actually need to know serious, fairly serious programming. And in WordPress, you actually don't. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Have a great day.